Okay. So who shall start first? Okay, so I guess that turn one great. So Li Xian will start first. I mean phase one. Okay, so they start on with the El Luber. So El Luber activates. That is something on ratio sites. Not activating. And He's getting the branded fusions or not? Yes or no? No, he getting is the banishment. Ouch. So it means that he already has the branded fusion on his hand. He has a very good open hand. So now let's go. Maxi challenge. Let's see whether they accept the maxi challenge or not. Okay, so no, no maxi challenge for you, and we're going for the call by the grave. Resolve, nothing to counter react with this. So, no maxi challenge, and I shall continue my combo without any worries now. So, now, branded fusion, and now most probably we'll go for the. Moving on. Lubina, okay, Lubina. Lubinion activates, we'll go for the mineral jets. Okay. Let's go. And the tragedy, tragedy will go for the L Libitum. I think that he will get the L Libitum. Yes, he's getting the L Libitum. And now, let's go. Fusions. Mirror Jade. Let's go. So now with the Mirror Jade, set one, set two, and turn. Mm. So he's not using the effects for the branded in red. So most probably that, just a wild guess, it might have a branded in red in his hand already. That's why he's not activating. Okay. So now back to ratio and now let's see what ratio going to do because and now at least that we are not having a mirror match our final. We have uh Despia versus Salaman Great. So now we are starting off with the Jack Jaguar now. Okay, so now activate the circle. So now he's going for the forbidden droplets to negate the mirror jets. Okay, good choice. So now what? Li Xian has something to activate. He has something to activate, but still no. Not yet, nothing appears yet. So now let's wait and see what he going to do now. Okay, he's thinking hard. What he going to do now? Okay. Chain conclude. The gates, the mirror jade, half the attack. And now, yes, as I say that he should have the branded in red on his hand. That's why he is not activating the mirror jade's effect. Okay, good, good. So sometimes that if you can read the card by this way, right, you might be right sometimes. Right. 
Okay, so another mirror jigs and with the predator plant. Okay, so the predator plant, I think that is not activating anything to put on the predator plant counter, but now he's banishing the jack jaguar now. So ratio will still need to think a way how to overcome these situations and now set one cast and turn. Okay, and now the LB non activates effect, it will set. Okay, so he's getting the branded fusions. Okay, so now back to Li Xian. So from the current board, right, you can see that actually Li Xian has a better hands, has a better board now. So let's see. What will it be now? Okay, so he's get this. Go on with the branded opening. Discard one and get one branded. So he's discarding the branded tragedy. So let's see which card he's searching for. Hmm. Okay, he's going for the drama touch. Okay, and the tragedy allows him to search for one more card. So. Which one? El Libitum? No, he's going for the Aluber. Okay, good, good. Aluber and Aluber search for one card. Hello, Revado, let's go. Okay. Ikuzo, let's go. Okay, so he's getting another Brandon in red, right? Yes. So. What I can see that Li Xian has already has all the cards, most of the cards he needs now onto the field already. So now this is activate. Maybe he's going for the Chimera. If he goes for the Chimera, then he can break the cards here. Some more he can draw. So let's see what cards he's going for. Which cards he's fusioning. Okay, okay. Go, go. Home. Okay, he's going for the Blazing Dragon. Okay, so it's still under expectations that he's going for the Blazing Dragons, but okay. So now he's summoning back the Dramaturge. 3k. So literally with all the monsters on the field, if the attack is a yes, then it is a OPK. Okay, so we have a 3k. Another 3k. Yes or no? It has something to activate. Yes. One last hit. If he hits, he can win. Okay, so the first round of the match wins goes to Bichen. Congratulations, Omedeto. Starto. So, round two starts. Let's see whether this will be the deciding match or we shall have our round three. So, may the best player win. Go, start off. Okay, so turn one is on the blue. So, ratio will have the first round. Okay, so let's see what ratio has on his hand. So, he's activating the circle. And the add one Salaman grade onto the hand. And it doesn't have any delay on Lee Xian's side. So, okay, he's getting the Jack Jaguar now. So now let's see. Summon down the Jack Jaguar. So now with that, he will go for the Balanix. Balanix will get a Sanctuary. Okay. 
the Lennox will get a Sanctuary now, so they can sell activate in response of the Summon of Salaman Raid. So, Summon onto the field in defense positions, and the Gazelle can discard one card from the deck into the graveyard. So, let's see which card he's discarding. We have okay, he's getting off the Spinny. So, now what? Spinny activates and onto the field. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, it needs to go on with something that can disrupt Li Qian's because it is the first turn, so it doesn't really need to go all the way to the excess code locker. It's a waste. So most probably that he will go to something like XZ, the Tapio, or something to for the disruptions. Okay, so now he has a Sunlight Wolves here. And what he's going to do after the Sunlight Wolves, activate Sanctuary. Okay, if he choose to Link Summon again with the Sunlight Wolf, he can recycle back the Salaman Great Circle. Ifs. Okay, yes, he's going with that. <clears throat> so, we have another Sunlight Wolf, Link 2, and now he shall get back one Cell Trap. Is it? Yes. We can add back one Salaman Great Spell and Traps. So, he's getting back the Circle onto his hand. And with that, he can recycle the Jack Jaguar. If he wants. Set one. Set one. Set two. Three. Okay, he's thinking very hard what to do next. So now, yes, he's activating the Jack Jaguar, Flip, flinging back the Sunlight Wolf to the extra deck and resummon back the Jack Jaguar. And now the Jack Jaguar, then now the Sunlight Wolf can activate to get back the Gazelle onto his hand. Okay, so Gazelle back to the hand. So he can go for the link too, or uh, what? What now? Set three. Set four. Okay, good, good. More stress. Whoa! <sighs> Nibiru! Ah, my god! Nibiru! Oh, pain as hell! Okay, so. Now. Li Chen choose the Nibiru to disrupt the whole bot. Now we have the 3k and the 2.7 defense. Now we shall proceed to their Despair combo. So now he has the Frightful Patchwork. Getting, he has a Polymerization and 1 H in chain. Okay, so most probably that he can go for the Chimera. Nope, he is going for the Ghost Sacrificus, and the Ghost Sacrificus will put in the tragedy most probably. Oh, the, the animation, nice man. So, which card is that? Tragedy, yes. So, the tragedy activates, he can get one cast onto the hand. He can get one Despia. So, yes, he's getting the Elder Good, good. Another way to do a surf. So now the Aluber activates and can get 
one card so branded fusions most probably Mm -hmm. or no yes or no so yes he's getting the branded fusions now so what's after the branded fusions polymerization yes yes so before the mirage combo most probably that with this is going for the chimera my two cents Yes. One, two, three. Yes, he's going for the Guardian Chimera. Okay, so Guardian Chimera activates, draw, and destroy. Is he, this he actually is a very good card actually. Even at the OCG DCG now, a lot of people still using the Guardian Chimera. Very strong. Okay, so now circle okay so nothing so it's not really a good chance to it's not really a good moment to open okay but never mind he has a droplet now okay can it be target if this guy future summon da -da 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 -da, I can drop it destroy okay so nothing the chimera will not able to draw or destroy so reduce by half no draw no destroy okay so he's getting the fall and getting the gate so no more so two more cards left and now we are proceeding with the branded fusions so he has something to activate here. No. Nope. And now let's go. Lishin. Living on. Okay, so we have the Lubinon. Yes, after the Lubinon. What's after the Lubinon? So discarding the patchwork. And we shall go for the Mirror Jets. Okay. Yes. Now, Mirror Jets. And. Mm hmm okay activate discarding the albion punish the token battle face so if it is success it is a six point it is a 4.6k so another attack pop it Yes, ratio taking out the damage. So main phase two and go phase. So the Albion's activates. So no call by the grave. No set cards. Pop it. Again, go. 
No branded fusions, no branded in red, no banishment, no nothing. Okay, so now back to ratio. So whatever he want to do, he need to do it now. Ratio need to do by distance. If not, Lee Chen will win because if it's the current board, right, Lee Chen has the upper hand now. So now we go on with the gazelle. So far, what Ratio afraid is that it has hand traps. Okay, so now the fall can be summoned down. Okay, and the gazelle will discard one cast into the graveyard. Yes, and so there goes the spinny. Okay, the spinny will be back onto the field. So, three cards. Let's see what combo he is going to do. So, now there goes the Ling Wan Balanix. Okay. Okay, the Jack Jaguar activate. Fling one card back to the deck or to the hand, yes. Back to the extra decks. And we summon the Jack Jaguar back onto the field. So, may the best player wins, and let's go, start off. Phew. So, Ratio will start first. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we start off with the circle and let's see if there is anything to disrupt. No, nope. so he's getting the foul. So with that, I can suspect that maybe it has okay, the gazelle and everything on his hand already. So now he summoned the Jack Jaguar and in response, summoning down the foul. So now, Ling Wan Shokan. Ling Wan. We have the Balanix now. Okay, so the Balanix will get the Sanctuary out. And yes, as I expect, he has the Gazelle on his head. That's the reason why he's getting the. He's searching for the Gazelle. Okay, so now had the Gazelle, he had the Sanctuary. And the gazelle will activate and discard one cards into the graveyard. So let's see which cards he's discarding. Maybe it's a spinny. Nope. He's going for the raw. Okay, okay. So he's been suspecting that he will try to get the raw back now. So now they do the sunlight wolves and activate the sanctuary. Okay, good. So now Link 2 again. Yes. Link 2 again. And become the Sunlight Wolves. So Sunlight Wolves activates the effect. We'll get back one spell and traps. Okay. Add it to the hand. And he's adding the raw to his hand now. So what we have in the graveyard. This, this, this. He can try to recycle the Jack Jaguar. Yes, activating the Jack Jaguar. So he has to recycle the sunlight or the gazelle. So he recycling the sunlight back. And we summon down the Jack Jaguar. And take back the gazelle. 
Okay, good, very good combo. Okay, so this is to keep your resource full, and we have the spinny, spinny out and up the attack. Okay, and spinny now will be resummoned back onto the field. Up. So we have another link two. Okay, so which link two is going? Oh, he's going for the XC. So he's going for the Bazooka Tapir. Well, this is a very annoying bot setup. Okay, so now he has a Tapir. As long that there is nothing he can, as long that Lee Sien can get rid of it, then it will be not an issue. So he now going for the Lady Goliwo. Okay. When your opponent activate the track quick, negate it. If you do banish it. Hmm, okay. Good. Now okay. A law of darkness. Draw two, banish one dark monster. Draw two and banish one. So he's been banishing the each aim chain. So now frightful patchwork, getting one polymerizations and one H in onto the hand. Okay. So set one, set two, set three and turn. Since that the bazooka is here, the tapir is here, right? It's literally you cannot do anything at all. So you might as well just set it and hope for the next two turns. You can survive for the next two turns. Okay. So now it is a good choice for not revealing your hands to your opponents. So now it goes on with the max C. So let's see now, Ratio, do you want to accept the Maxi challenge or not? No, you are not activating it. So I go on with my Ash Blossom. But no, I have the Call by the Grave. He's poking and <laughs> now he has a Raw. The Raw will negate the activations so no maxi for you no 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 allow it damn it stand by face and now okay discarding one material out Lishan will need to hang on for one more turn now so now activating it, you can recycle one card back. So he's getting the Salaman Straight Circle. Activating the circle. Search for another card. Okay. Okay, he's getting the box C. Okay, so putting the tapio into the attack positions. Okay, summoning summoning down the foul. Okay. So most probably I think that ratio will try to go for the game. And now it resummons the sunlight wolf again. Okay, so it's summoning down the sunlight wolves again and now triggering and now we have the gazelle. Summoning down and the gazelle can activate and discard one pass into the graveyard. So he has the Jack Jaguar here already. So yes, he will go down with the spinny.
Okay, so what we can do here? Being one, three monster. Okay, he can go for the access code talker if he wants. So, whatever he's doing now, he need to think it through and detail because that it might be a losing factor if he misplayed. Okay, so now he's going for the link three. Okay, transcode talker. Okay, so the transcode talker can get one cut back. Cut no. He's not activating it. So he's going for the link to update jam. Okay. Good. So ratio should be thinking how to go for the game now. So now with that he can go for the access foot talker. Okay. So he would have a 5.3k damage with that. So the update jammer will allow the transcode talker to attack twice. And the transcode talker itself will get the transcode talker to become a 5.3k because it's a 3. Okay, so now 5.3k. So activate one, banish the link, break the cards. So he's breaking the back one, so he's breaking the banishments. Okay. So too bad he doesn't have anything at the back, so the banishment will be rendered useless with here. And now he's discussing one breaking the H im. Okay. So now if there is nothing for Lee Chen, then Ratio will be the winners tonight. So now first hit. And Bom. Congratulations, Ratio wins. Omedito, Omedito. So, really, thanks for all the participations. And now, tonight, we have our winners for our weekly tournaments, Master Deal weekly tournaments. And now, congratulations, Ratio, for becoming our champions for tonight so really appreciate all players who are watching with us watching throughout the streams and then thanks for all the participants who are participating in our tournaments tonight so miraculously that tonight we finally have a minimum eight players to kick start the tournaments so sincerely hope that from next week onwards we still have the same amount of players and more and more players coming in so really hope that you all will like and enjoy our tournaments and we hope that can do more for the community and then expand more as time goes we have more projects coming in so really hope that you all will enjoy it, love it, support us. And that's all for tonight. The tournament ends here. And congratulations ratio and thank you Li Xian for participating. Okay, so that's all for tonight. Thank you. So hope you all enjoy the night. Thank God it's Friday, TGIF. And that's all. So sayonara, bye bye. Thank you everyone. Sakin.